first, go ahead and open up your Documents folder by right-clicking your File folder icon and going to Documents. Next, you're going to right-click the File Explorer window again, and to open a new one, you're going to select the File Explorer option. In this window, go ahead and go to this PC. Next, you're going to snap this folder to the bottom right-hand corner. Then, you're going to take the Documents folder and snap it to the upper right-hand corner like this. Now, go ahead and right-click the Start menu and go to Terminal Admin. Very important, guys, you'll want to make sure that it says Administrator in the upper left-hand corner. If it doesn't say Administrator, you'll need to log in with a different account, one that has administrative privileges. In the upper right-hand window, go ahead and go into the Electronic Arts folder inside your documents. Select the text in the address bar, right-click, and then hit Copy. So in the command window on the left, type CMD and then hit Enter. That's going to take us to command prompt. Next, type the following, mklink space slash d space a set of double quotes and then right click in the window to paste the entire directory we just copied and then close it with a second pair of quotes. Now go back up to the documents folder and we're going to right click on the electronic arts folder and hit cut. Now go into your network drive and right click in the open space and click paste. This is going to do two things. It's going to move the Electronic Arts folder into the drive on the network that we need. And after that, it's going to let us create the symbolic link from the Documents folder directly to the drive. On the network drive, go into the Electronic Arts folder, select all the text in the address bar, right click and hit copy. Now in the command window on the left, add a space, a set of double quotes, right click, this will paste the address that we just copied and add a set of double quotes at the end. Now hit enter. If you did everything correctly, you should see symbolic link created for the original electronic arts folder, some pointy arrows, the drive and the electronic arts folder on the network. As so many of my videos are a bit complex and the instructions can be a bit hard to follow, it's expected that some of you may have issues. And that's why I'm offering a subscription that I'm dubbing my Sims 4 Diagnostic Package. This package will offer exclusive help directly working with me to get tons of your issues fixed. In this package, you'll have unlimited access to fully installing the base game through Steam or the EA app, moving the game to an external hard drive, moving game files to external drives, finding out why the game isn't working correctly, making the game run smoother, assistance with downloading and installing mods, and finally, fixing the game after you've made some changes and the game broke. And what's better about this isn't that you're using the free service from EA where support is limited. No, if you're having issues because you modded your game, you've got my support. If you're having issues because you have an overly complicated network setup on your game, and EA won't support you, you've got my support. If you're using a cracked version of the game, I mean, I'll do the best I can given what I've got, but you've got my support. And that's not all Simmers. With my Sims 4 diagnostic package, you won't just receive generic troubleshooting advice or wait on hold for hours. No, you'll get the personalized attention and expertise you deserve. We'll connect through remote sessions where I'll personally handle all of your Sims 4 issues. And here's something special to note. Proceeds from this subscription will directly benefit the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you for being a part of my community, subscribing to the channel, and engaging with my content through views, likes, and comments. So go check out the link in the description and sign up today. I can't wait to help you on the other side. In the Documents folder on the right-hand corner, you should also see the Electronic Arts folder shortcut appear right there. And since I'm such a big fan of making sure that my stuff works, we'll go ahead and load up The Sims 4. As you can see here, my G-Shade preferences are working, so that is a good indicator. Also, you can see here that the game is in resume mode. And if we click load game, you'll see that I've got both of my saves right here where I last left off. Now we'll go into the game to make sure that everything works just as we expected. 
And as you can see here, the game that I was last playing is completely functional. If I go over here into the mods, you'll see that all of my mods have loaded directly from the documents folder. And there you have it guys, the entire Sims 4 data move from your documents folder to a drive on your local network. I hope this video was extremely helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my absolute best to answer them all. Happy simming! Hey guys, check out this video that YouTube thinks is best for you or check out my most recent video below it. Thanks for watching!